Modeling Exercise M3-1, with the focus on Create and Dimension Sketch, Revolve, and Screw Hole Create your first sketch and learn how to position and dimension them. The sketch is the basis for a simple revolve part with a screw hole. You will find a drawing for the part as a download in PDF format for printing. Or you can open it on a second screen. Position Sketch Create the new part by clicking on File. New. Select the Start Part Model, and enter the name and folder. Click OK, or press the Enter key on your keyboard. The outer contour of the part is to be defined via a sketch. Every sketch has a coordinate system. This coordinate system defines the zero point of the sketch, and the sketch plane. There are several ways to position this coordinate system, which I would like to show you in advance. If no special alignment of the sketch is required, it is also sufficient to simply press the middle mouse button. That's the quickest way. The sketch plane will be in the absolute XY plane, and the sketch origin will be at the absolute origin. Or you choose one of the colored principal planes. The principal planes are also always at absolute zero. So the sketch is on the selected plane, and the sketch origin will be at the absolute origin. And it is also possible to select one of the planes from the datum coordinate system, which can be moved later. The coordinate system of the sketch is then connected to the datum coordinate system. I'll quickly create a rectangle to show it. And if I now move the datum coordinate system, the sketch follows the movement. Back to the exercise. Because there are no special requirements for aligning the sketch, a click of the middle mouse button is sufficient. Create profile. NX starts its own user interface for the sketch. The horizontal sketch axis is shown as a red dotted line and the vertical sketch axis as a green dotted line. There is a point at the intersection of the two lines. If the alignment has been shifted, the sketch can be correctly aligned again under view. Orient to sketch. This command is also available after a right click. Start the profiles command to sketch the outer contour. It is sufficient to sketch only one half without the hole and also without chamfers. Check the snap options. Activate only the options end point and existing point. Click on the zero point of the sketch to start there. Make the next click on the horizontal sketch axis. Correct measurements are not yet necessary, only the proportions should be approximately correct. Move the cursor upwards. When the cursor is approximately vertically above the end point of the last line, a symbol appears at the cursor. This symbol indicates that an exact vertical line is now created. With one click, the next horizontal line is created. And the next vertical line, and so on. The last click is again on the zero point of the sketch and the profile is closed. To close the command, you could click on the cross or press the escape key. But with the middle mouse button, it works even better. Once pressed, the command remains active and another profile could be created elsewhere. Pressed once more, the command is terminated. A closed profile is automatically shaded if the option shaded region is activated. Dimension Sketch Activate the option Show Movable to display the undimensioned lines differently. You don't need icons to dimension a sketch. Simply click on an object that you want to dimension. 
NX displays all measurements and constraints of the selected object. Select the measurement and overwrite the value. After pressing the Enter key, a message appears, asking if you want to scale the entire sketch. Confirm by pressing Yes. This way the proportions of the sketch are preserved. After clicking the middle mouse button, the dimension is confirmed, and you can create the next dimension. Two objects can also be selected, to dimension the distance. It's always the same, select the objects, select the measurement, overwrite the value, and confirm with the middle mouse button. Of course, the values can also be changed dynamically, by dragging the arrows. Dimension the outer diameter. Select at first the center line, and then the outline. You can now enter either the radius or the diameter. To enter the diameter, right-click on the measurement and select Convert to Half Diameter. In the meantime, some of the lines have been dimensioned. The last movable curves are shown in brown. The status line counts three movable curves. The upper diameter is still missing. Again, select the center line first. Since the last dimension was created as a diameter, the next dimension is also created as a diameter. After right-clicking on the dimension, it could also be displayed as a distance again. Done, the sketch is completely defined. All curves are black and the status line shows, sketch is fully defined. Finish the sketch by clicking on the destination flag. Revolve. Double click in the graphic area to zoom to the sketch. The sketch is displayed in orange. This means it could be combined immediately with another command. Clicking in the graphics area cancels the selection. But you can reselect it by clicking on the sketch. Select the Revolve command. Since the distances in the sketch have been dimensioned as diameters, the Revolve command can be executed immediately. It is not necessary to specify a vector. Click on OK. And the revolved part is ready. Double click on the sketch in the graphics area to return to the sketch and change the dimensions. Screw hole, options. Next, the hole for the screw is created. Start the hole command and select the option counterboard. With the option custom, you can freely select the diameters. With the option screw clearance, the diameters are adapted to the selected screw sizes. Under standard, various norms are available. Select the standard ISO, then under screw type, the option socket head 4762, the current standard for Allen screws. And with the option fit, the desired tolerance class is selected. Select normal. A few more hints. The screw type, shoulder screw, 7379, produces holes for shoulder fit screws. And with cheese head 1207. Let me guess, that puts the holes to the cheese. Unfortunately not, the option is for slotted cheese head screws, but also suitable for hexagon socket screws, with flat head. Pan head, 7045, for cross recessed screws. And hex head 4016, 17, 18 for hexagon head screws. The countersunk diameter allows you, to loosen the screw with a socket spanner. Place screw hole. Select the settings shown in the hole command. Select single point. 
and edge. Check that the snap option arc center is set under snap options. Select the upper edge of the revolved part. Clicking the middle mouse button is the same as clicking OK. Create chamfers. Now only the chamfers in the size 0.4 and 1 are missing. Start the chamfer command. Specify the size of the chamfer and press the Enter key. Select the two outer edges. Sets can also be used to generate different chamfer sizes in a single step. Click on Add New Set, select the distance 0.4 and press the Enter key. Now select the edge of the 20 diameter. Yes, and that was the last time I referred to pressing the Enter key. Promised. After double-clicking on one of the chamfers in the graphic area, a new value can be selected for each set, or edges can be deselect or selected. In the next video, a variant with a different name is created and the sketch is changed. At LearnNX.com you will find this and other exercises. As a member, you can also access the site without advertising, along with practice materials and, if you wish, a certificate. I'm always open to ideas and suggestions. Write in the comments or directly to info at learnnx.com.